Welcome back to SAP Ariba Supply Chain Collaboration. I'm your instructor, Matthew Hunt. And now we're going to talk about forecast collaboration. So in this section, we'll first do um, an overview of the process of forecast collaboration. Then we'll get into the screens that forecast collaboration is done in. Um, I'll talk about the forecast confirmation or the commitment from the supplier side. And then finally, I'll show you how to download the forecast to a CSV file. So the process is from the buyer side, and I know it says ECC system up there, but this could also be the buyer side IBP or any planning um, system that you have on your back end, um, back end side to generate forecast. So you'd send that long-term forecast to the supplier. They're going to monitor that forecast. They can download it to their back end system using one of the integration techniques or as I'll show you here in a minute how to download a CSV file. They're typically going to um, use this forecast to load their MRP system or to do um, an available to promise check. If they are doing an ATP check then they can come back to you with a commitment or a confirmation. Um, and then you can take that confirmation and you can import it into your ECC system or your IBP system and you can actually constrain your um, forecast based on the supplier's commitments if you want. So this is the forecast collaboration screens. This does come in the menu under planning so it's not the inbox or the outbox. It's under um, the tab called planning and under planning it's called planning collaboration and you've got a number of characteristics um, on the first screen the customer part number the customer supplier part number you, you can see customer locations or lead times in here all the way over to the right um, you'll see this icon over here this is where you actually um, click to see then the key figures and there's multiple key figures within the planning collaboration tool and I will show them all to you here in a minute. So after you hit that key figures button it kind of does a drill down into that particular part and here's one of the key figures you can see is order forecast so this is a a matrix um, where you've got your your dates across the top and dates can be viewed in days weeks or months um, Ariba will automatically collab, um, um, aggregate it um, to the right buckets for you based on how you want to see it I'll talk talk about some of the the key figures. So there's um, over 20 different key figures that are configurable, or you can create your own. There is actually a tool in Ariba um, if you have a key figure that's not a standard one that they pre-deliver, you can um, create your own. But um, they do come with t um, over 20 standard um, key figures already with the product. Order forecast is your forecast. So you can see here um, in my example. Um, June 25th, 2019, my forecast is for 1,000 units. I do have a cumulative forecast, so it is tracking my cumes. There is this uh, key figure called forecast commit, and you see there's a little pencil next to it. Any, um, any key figure that the supplier is allowed to modify and send information back to you, you'll see that pencil. And so this is where the supplier can communicate back to you a commitment. So they could hit that pencil and then they could come in here and they could say, yeah, I know your forecast is for 1,000 units, but I can only give you 500 on June 25th and I can give you the remaining 500 on June 27th and then they would send that information back to you and you could load that into your planning uh, data and you could actually constrain your signal so that you no longer are sending a, um, a demand uh, an operational replenishment signal for more than 500 units on June 25th. There is also a key figure you can't see it on here but there's a key figure for inventory so the supplier can share um, their inventory levels with you if that's something that, that you need. So if you want to know how much inventory of this part they have on hand for your own planning information, um, they can do that from the screen also. So how to download the forecasts 
um, as a CSV file if you don't want to um, look at it online. Um, you would go to this menu that says Upload Download and you would create a job and the job type is called a forecast and then you would just hit the process button and it would automatically well first you'd have to enter some parameters like the the the, the customer that you want it for um, if you wanted to do a specific part or a time period from this day to this day you could enter all that information but after you uh, create it uh, then you would just process it and it would automatically download to your uh, local PC so that is the forecast process. Um, I'm going to end this video, and uh, when you're ready to go on to the next video, I will see you then.